Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. All right, now before we kick start the session, let me just do a quick mic test as well as a screen test. So if you could give me a second. So I've put up a poll right here. If you can hear me loud and clear as well as uh, see my screen. Can you go ahead and help me vote yes or no? And I can just get the uh, event started. All right, so Wednesday night, everyone's here. And thank you all for coming. But all right, so OK. All right, so since everyone seems to be able to hear me and see my screen, I'll just get it started, yeah? So first off, good evening, everyone. I am your host and speaker for tonight. I am Brian, a dealer here at Flip Capital. So before we start, just give me a quick 10 minutes to bring you through an introduction of our company, Fit Capital, as well as the products and services that we provide. And after that, I will get straight into the core content, I promise you. Just 10 minutes of your time, let's just get started, yeah? So first off, this is a disclaimer that this presentation has not been reviewed by the Securities Commissions Malaysia and is only provided to you for a general educational purpose only, right? Trading and investing is a very, very risky endeavor and you should always, always consult a licensed financial advisor if you wish to dabble in this field, okay? Hence, this presentation is not to tell you to buy or sell any products at all and we are not liable for any of the decisions that you may make based on the content of this presentation okay so basically just a bit about philip capital is that we're incorporated on the 7th of october 1995 and we are a wholly owned subsidiary of philip capital holdings sandir and berhad you know, formerly you may have known us as Philip Futures, but that's because back then we only offered futures and CFDs. Recently, we actually started to offer stocks as well, which is why we rebranded our name. Okay, we are a trading participant of Bursa, uh, Bursa Malaysia Derivatives. We are also a participating org of Bursa Malaysia Securities, but most importantly, we are also a holder of the Capital Market Services License, which means we are legally allowed to offer you these services and products, right? You are being protected by the government in case anything where it happens, you are protected, right? This is what um, we offer you in terms of security, okay? So we have around 11 Philip Investor Centers across Malaysia with our headquarters located in Kuala Lumpur, right? So we have offices all the way from West Malaysia, like Malacca, Klang, JB, KD, Penang, all the way to East Malaysia, where we have offices in KK, Cebu, and Kuching. So if you are any like nearby any of these offices, you can drop by and say hi. We have staff on duty to assist you at all times during working hours, okay? So here we have come to our award-winning Versa Excellence Awards page. So this is basically to showcase you our awards and beautiful track record throughout the years, right? You can see we've won champions, first runner-ups and second runner-ups across multiple categories throughout the years. And actually just recently, we won the second runner-up for the best overall derivative trading participant, as well as the best retail derivative trading participant. So a glorifying um, track record, I must say for myself. So this kind of gives you just an outlook into the quality of services that we provide to our clients. All right, so we have a wide global network where we are situated in around 16 different countries, all the way from Asian countries, like you know Thailand, Malaysia, of course, Singapore, to Western countries like the US, the UK, uh, Australia and basically what this means is that we have a really wide global network which allows us to have a wide global coverage so here you can see a bunch of global exchanges on the screen you know we have US based um, exchanges like the CME group 
um, all the way to ICE from Europe, Eurex. You know, we have uh, Japanese exchanges like JPX, Talcom, uh, Singapore exchanges in Hong Kong. And basically what this means is that if you want to trade any of the products listed across these exchanges, you can do so through us. And you can kind of think of us as like a middleman, right? Because because we are a broker and we offer you the access to the products listed on these exchanges, all right? We are your one-stop solution for your trading. And that's because first off, we offer a wide array of assets. We offer futures, things like index futures, agricultural futures, metal futures, to the good old stocks and equities, you know, things like local Malaysian shares, uh, foreign US, Hong Kong, Singapore shares. We do offer that here as well. And also contracts for difference, CFDs, you know, we offer local Bursa CFDs as well as the NYSE and NASDAQ shares CFDs, okay? We have won multiple awards throughout the years, which gives us the confidence to say, we are your broker of choice, but of course that's not enough, right? Just having many awards is not enough, but we also offer you many other, other many other services such as 24 hour broking and execution support, things like advisory services from our experienced dealers, the latest market news updates, and also a completely free and easy to navigate online account opening process. If you are interested to learn from our licensed dealers, we have a program called Learn with Lake Capital, where we offer you free one-to-one -one coaching sessions, free seminars and webinars, as well as a guide on how to navigate our account opening process. So for our free one-to-one -one coaching session, we have mainly two sessions. The first one will be tied to product knowledge, which is an, intro an introduction to futures or CIDs or stocks. And the next one will be tailored to the charting system, which is how to navigate our platforms. We do offer a part of that as well. So if you are interested in joining our upcoming seminars and webinars, or even to book a coaching session, you could scan this QR code right here. It brings you to a page on our website, flip.com.my, and it showcases to you all the upcoming free seminars and webinars for you to join and to enhance your trading knowledge, all right? Now, if you've missed this QR code, it's fine. It is still on our website, philip.com.my, okay? So I'll go to the next slide. Well, we also have the weekly market calls. So on the left, we have the market views and updates by our research team. And it's done every Monday at 11 a.m. where you can see our analysts present their weekly views and updates. And on the right, you have a QR code for our live counter technical analysis, where it is hosted by our technical analyst, Zane, where you can discover weekly trends and potential entry and exit levels, right? So these two are also free of charge. Do scan those QR codes if you are interested in joining any of these um, events. Great, moving on. So if you're interested in opening an account with us, we have a hassle-free online account opening process. All you have to do is just scan this QR code right here to open any of these accounts free of charge online. But if that's a bit too much, you can also reach out to me or my colleagues and we will assist you as soon as we can. We have our contact details at the end of the presentation, okay? All right, so moving on, let me just bring you through our trading platforms. First off, we have Flipnova, which is the platform our clients use to trade futures. Uh, we have cool things like 90 technical indicators, you know, price alerts, and you can trade local and foreign products all in one platform. If you're interested in how it looks like, you could scan this QR code right here to take a look at it for a demo account. And we also have it on both Apple App Store Google Play Store as well as a desktop version. Okay, but the coolest part that I think, the coolest part is that we also have partnered with TradingView where our live charting systems within the Nova platform is actually powered by TradingView. So it is pretty much a familiar UI 
an interface for most people because everyone, almost everyone you are using training view, right? So it should be a familiar charting experience all free of charge as long as you become our client, okay? Next up, we have the stocks platform, which is Poems Global MY 2.0 which we also have on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store as well as a desktop version. So right here, if you are interested in trading stocks, you can go on our website. We have more information for this platform and the products for stocks that we offer. Okay. Last but not least, we have our Flip CFD Trader, which is the platform our clients use to trade CFDs. Okay. So moving on, we have promotions, which is everyone's favorite part. So first off, we have the current futures promotion, which is called Trade and Triumph Bursa Malaysia Edition, where if you trade local Bursa futures with us, you could stand a chance to win up to 1,050 ringgit cash rewards. TNC supply, if you're interested, we have this QR code right here for you to scan for more information. Okay, but once again, information is all on our website, flip.com.my, it's right there, okay? Next up, we have the trade US index CFDs at as low as two US dollars. So if you're interested, we have this QR code for you to scan right here. Now, in the next page, I'll bring you through a sneak peek of the services that I provide to my own clients. If you were to become a client with the Kuching branch, which is I'll give you access to an ebook, which I created is called Smart Money Protocols. Um, well, I didn't create the concept, so to speak, but I kind of Put what I know within this ebook. So it's a completely full and free technical analysis strategy from A to Z, right? And you also get access to this daily technical analysis forecast group, but it's only exclusive for my clients only. Okay. So um, apart from that, let me just get straight into the core content. Let me just get a sip of water and I'll get straight into the meat of the uh, presentation. All right. Now, if you have any questions, don't worry. We have a Q&A section at the end of the webinar, so you can leave your questions to them. But if you have any throughout the presentation, just you know type it out and I'll be able to answer it at the end. Okay, so let's get straight into the presentation, right? It took around 10 minutes, I didn't lie, so yeah, thank God. So first off, we have to address the question of what is trading. Okay, so trading in a sense for most people is we are trying to generate profits by speculating on whether or not an asset is going to go up or down, right? And we're trying to make an educated guess on our entries and exit prices that are favorable. So that is the gist of what trading means. So most strategies out there, in fact, all strategies kind of play around this concept. Now, I think it's important to address the question of, you know, what is support and resistance in the first place? So simply put on your left, we have a support line or a zone. It's simply an area where you expect price to come down to and bounce to continue higher. And conversely, a, a resistance is the opposite of that. It's an area that you expect price to reject and continue lower from once price has reached. And it sounds simple, but I promise you, every single strategy that you know or that you currently use is a format of support and resistance, okay? So in trading, all strategies, they fall under this concept because you're trying to buy and sell at different areas of support slash resistance, the difference is they come in many different forms. Okay, they look a bit different. And quite frankly, from my years of trading, I found out that you know most strategies, they differ from something called the narrative. Okay, this is something that they are all kind of differ from, which is the narrative part, which means are you bullish or bearish on the market? This thing is the main difference between most strategies, right? So once you have that narrative down, you can start looking for areas of interest to buy and sell from. But before you have this thing, you don't have anything to do, 
okay narrative comes first regardless of what anyone else says okay so when you're trading right relative to where the current price is any area of interest above you is resistance and any area of interest beneath you is support right now let's just say this is where we currently are any interest any area of interest below is support any area of, of interest above is resistance is that simple now why is this so why is it as long as, as, as it's beneath me it's support above is resistance why is that so well let me just oh I think I, okay oh sorry so basically you can think of it like this the market is kind of free flowing right so when you're on a trampoline imagine yourself bouncing up and down when you're bouncing up you are afraid of the ceiling because you because you, you don't want to hit it right and if you are coming down you are scared of the floor so wherever you are in the market anything above you is resistance anything be beneath you is support that's a very simple concept to grasp okay anything above support uh, anything above resistance anything below support okay so how does the average person draw a support line or a support zone now my chart the white candles is the bullish candle and the red uh, sorry and the black one is a bearish candle so i have it noted right here so this is where people kind of normally draw support right we have price coming down price pivoted from this area right here so people were like oh my god it pivoted from here this price point now is an area of support so when price comes back down to it it should in theory bounce off because it did in the past so when so once it comes back down to it it probably should you know respect it again okay so some people they they have some differences in in, in what they enter from some people enter straight off of this but most people from what i've seen they do this right they wait for price to bounce it bounces once and once it comes back down to it they buy here on the third retest so they wait for price to show that all oh, that level is holding and then they enter on the buy on the third time it, it, it comes back down so to get more confirmation so this is how most people draw their areas of support right same thing with resistance just inverted price came down it came up it pivoted right here so once price goes it like goes away it comes back to it it rejected it again so people are like oh my god you know this area right here is going to be re uh, resistance so if we come back to it we should in theory continue downwards and they can sell on the third retest this is how most people use support or resistance right and this is using an example of a hor uh, horizontal level but there are also people that use something called trend lines which is a diagonal level and what i mean by that is let me just come here so here we have what we call a trend line which is basically just connecting the different throws at a certain angle so it's like it, 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 uh, it's a line that has an angle to it so you can kind of like drag it like this like this is an angle too so this is also a form of support and re and resistance in this case a resistance in the next slide this is an example of a support you're seeing price holding this line at this angle okay so it, can, it also works like this or you know it works some other ways um now this is probably all familiar to all of you and this might seem elementary and you and you aren't wrong in thinking that this is pretty basic things that everyone sees when they get into trading right the first concept that they see support resistance trend lines you know indicators maybe but we'll leave that for a different time so here what is actually wrong with support and resistance or traditional support and resistance well the first one that i got from 
trading is that I, I realized that it's quite subjective, meaning it's quite random, right? Some people draw their support lines, you know, very big like this. Some people use a line, some people include the wick, some people use the bodies. It, there, there are no clear filters and there aren't any clarity in how to actually draw these areas, right? And when you don't have any clear rules, right here when, when when you don't have filters to draw them you don't have rules right how do you form a narrative how do you form that story if where's your entry at? you know where are your exits what time frames a lot of people that trade support and resistance they don't have these answers they don't everything seems kind of random because i re i remember specifically i followed a person online for like many years ago and then i thought that i knew what I was doing from his trading plan. But then after a while, I realized that, you know what, this guy is drawing random areas of support and resistance, right? So let me just go to the next slide. So what I mean is some, some people draw their supports like this. Some people draw them like this with a line. Some people use a trend line. Some people use use this trend line. Some some use this trend line. It's, it, it's a mess, right? It's like, do you use the wicks? Do you use the entire area? Do you use just the body like this? Like, what do you actually do? It is a big mess and no one, quite frankly, has a solid answer. And they will always tell you it's the experience speaking. And while that may be true, I think that we should all strive to have a strategy that is less objective and less random because then you would be able to repeat it over time at a at a pace that you can actually measure right because if sometimes you draw uh, sometimes at the supports like this sometimes it's like this sometimes i use my trend line it gets random over time and your results will not improve regardless because everything's random there's no structure there's no rules that you can track over time so so with this webinar i aim to solve a few questions the first one is I want to show the audience, you guys, how I define my rules to drawing out these areas of support and resistance with little to no subjectivity. That's the first one. The second one is filters for choosing the appropriate supports and resistance. The third is a very simple and quick to understand mechanical entry and exit strategy. Okay, these are the three things I want to solve from this webinar. Okay, so the first one, let's just get straight into it. The first one is, let me show you how I draw my areas of support and resistance. Okay, white candles are bullish, black candles are bearish. So here we have a bearish candle followed by a bullish candle. So the support is this green line right here. It's literally just the opening at the closing price of this bearish candle. That's a support, right? You inverse that traditional resistance is a bullish candle followed by a bearish candle. And the resistance is just the closing price of the bullish candle. Okay. Really easy, to, really easy to understand. I know. And why I chose to do that is because, well, here we have a bearish candle, bullish candle. If you go on a line chart, this is what it looks like right here. Allegedly a V shape. Same thing with a resistance. A line chart is literally like this. So this price point has shown a reaction in the past. I'm operating under the pretense that price should respect it if we come down to them like that. Okay. Now, obviously this is on charts on futures, you know, we have, we are, we are not open the whole day. Um, so there might be gaps in the charts. That's fine. Here we have an example of gaps. Okay. So this is a support bearish candle, bullish candle price opened here. The next one open up here. There's this gap. That gap is your area of support. 
same thing. We have we have this bullish and bearish candle resistance right here. You could also just draw this line if you want to be a bit more precise, but there's also nothing wrong from what I've seen in, in my own testing that taking the areas is also fine. So it depends on you wanting to have a more accurate zone or a wider zone. That is up to your own preference, okay? Both is fine. Next, we have another form of support and resistance called an open close. Okay, so obviously an open close support is just two consecutive bullish candles. That's a that support right there. Bearish resistance, same thing, two bearish candles consecutively side by side. The closing price is your resistance of the first candle. Okay. This is what we call an open close support. So I mainly trade from these two types of support and resistance, Tradi uh, traditional support and resistance and open close support and resistance. Okay. These are two main types I trade with every single day. Now, moving on, if we have gaps, it's the same thing. You, know, you just take this one line or you could use include the gap as well for an open close support. Same thing with a resistance. This is that gap, or you could just use this one line at closing price of the first candle. Okay. So this is okay so far, right? If for people that are following, can you type an okay in the chat for me to kind of gauge the room real quick? Because I think so far we've covered quite a few things. Um, is everything doing all right? Do you have any other questions? If there's no questions, can you type a no for me? There should be like a question or chat box at the bottom of your screen. Uh, you could just, you know, type in and say no, no question or okay, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. So moving on here, we, I have a chart. I'll give you guys around 10 seconds. I want you to try and spot as many areas of support and resistance as quick as you can. Okay, so I'll count from 10 and then just try to see a few. Okay, so if we start now. Okay, so that's 10 seconds. So let me just go to the next slide. So here I kind of drew out a few, quite a lot of examples of support and resistance. The time frame doesn't matter because this is just an example. It's the same thing on every single time frame. This practice is just for you to kind of practice your eyes on seeing areas of support and, resi and resistance. Right here is a up down resistance, open close resistance, down up support. Um, here we have a open close support right here. Here we have a, tra a trade traditional support. Here as well, resistance, support. So basically, there are a lot of areas of support and resistance, right? But don't worry. Next, I'll bring you through my favorite part, which is the filters for choosing the appropriate supports and resistance. Okay, so this one will let you know which areas are valid and which are not valid. Because if we were to go back, let me just... If we were to go back, you have a bunch of these areas, right? So which ones do you actually choose to trade from? Which ones are valid? The next part, I'll bring you through my filters for choosing the appropriate areas of support and resistance, okay? So let's get on to the next part. So first off, I want to kind of bring you through something called respect and disrespect of a level, right? So when price comes and interacts with a level, it can either respect or disrespect a level. And we will only know if the price has respected a level or not once the candlestick that touches the level has closed. So let's say we have a support here. I mean, a resistance. So we, this is a resistance. Price comes up, it taps it right here. This candlestick has to now close on the same time frame for it to be called a respect. Okay. Now in the next slide, 
I'll bring you to a you know clearer explanation. So daily time frame, we have a traditional support down up candle. We wait for price to come down to it, touch it, and then for this one to close. Okay, so once price has rejected this level, we could see potential long opportunities. All right. This occurrence is what we call a daily reject daily. So assuming price comes down, it taps it, and this candlestick has closed right here. If it closed respecting the body right here with a week, we call this a daily reject daily because this is the daily time frame. Price comes down, taps it closes with a weak rejection, we call this a daily reject daily. Okay, so oh, let me just go back. So here we have the same thing. This is another example of respect and disrespect. So price formed a what? It formed a resistance, right? Bullish and then bearish. Price came up in this candle. We tapped it. And then we close down, we close beneath it. This is the key part. We close beneath that area of resistance. It doesn't matter how long the week goes, as long as we close beneath it, it is a sign of respect. Okay. And what that means is that once we see this pattern, sell opportunities are valid from future levels of resistance. Okay, so this is the idea of a respect. However, what happens for it to be disrespected is that when price right here, we have a support. Price comes down to it. And then it violates it by closing beneath the level right here. This is what we call a disrespect. Price has not respected the support, hence longs are invalid anymore. Okay, because there is no sign that price is respecting support. So why should you be buying at supports in the first place? Okay. So that is an example of, of support. Now this is an example of a resistance, right? So here we have up down traditional resistance okay price then comes up closes above it causing it to be disrespected so no more sales sales are no longer valid okay that is an example of disrespect okay so we have now understood what respect and disrespect means for a level wait for that candle to close before deciding on if it has respected it or not. Okay. If it has rejected, it's, uh, so it, it, it is respect. If it hasn't rejected, it is called a disrespect. Okay. So when a support or resistance, they become violated, which means they are disrespected, their characteristics change. Okay. They have now become inverted, meaning supports that have been broken becomes resistance. Resistance that has once been broken becomes support because of the concept. Remember when I said the, tr the trampoline example, I said, wherever you are in price, whatever is above you is resistance. Whatever is be beneath you is support. So support down here, price comes down, breaks it. This support now becomes resistance. Why? Because you are down here. So whatever is above you is resistance. It's a seeding for you. So when price comes back up, this support now becomes or potentially becomes an area of resistance to push price lower. All right. So that is an example of an inverted level. We have chart examples coming up. Let me just go back. So here we have an example of a case of disrespect. This was a resistance. 
price broke here and then when price comes back down to it it respects it as support to come up higher why is that so quite frankly no one has the answer to that but my theory at least is that this was a key area of interest in the past in the future it may use it once again as an area of key interest that's pretty much it okay so right here i draw on the line this is the red line so this is when it was resistance we broke to it here this is where it is as support now okay so that's a very simple concept so this concept applies to all types of, S of snr be it traditional or open close okay so here you can see we have two areas of open closes right here and here price breaks both of them here in this big candle it comes back up to it taps it and then we continue lower from there okay so that is the concept of respect and disrespect because this is important now because this will lead you to understand the next part which is one of my few which is my main filter really for choosing zones that are valid and invalid to trade from okay it's called the concept of fresh and unfresh so fresh means levels that you can trade from and unfresh means level you cannot trade from it's that simple it's like when you go to a market and you want to buy something you want to buy the fresh levels right but unfresh means it's been there for too long or it's it's been used up it's not fresh anymore you don't want to trade from those areas because you don't want to buy or sell from those areas right so coming up levels that are fresh are when they are just formed okay they are just formed and have not been tested or interacted with meaning if this is a support price comes back it hasn't touched it yet this level is still fresh okay once it taps it and touches it like this regardless if it's fresh uh, regardless if it's a respect or disrespect um this is no longer fresh as of now all right tested meanings they've been touched and respected but once they are disrespected once the candlestick has come down and closed beneath that level support the nature changes right from support to resistance then they are fresh okay now this may be quite this one might be a bit weird but repeat it once again support right here price comes down taps it rejects this level is now unfresh but once we come back down break it this now becomes what it becomes a new area of resistance so it is now fresh to take sales from that's what it means by once their nature changes they are now fresh okay so that's what i mean by fresh and fresh level so coming up we have here an example of an open close resistance which is newly formed and still fresh because price has not come up to touch it or interact with it right so right here this is the open close resistance it's still fresh why because we are right now we are here we haven't tapped it yet what well, since it has been formed so it's still fresh okay so once price comes up right here it tapped it the candlestick that tapped it which is this one closes beneath that level it means what it means we have respected that level once this has closed and we and we respected it this resistance now becomes unfresh and is invalid for trading opportunities because we have tapped it right here okay so moving on here we have a example okay we have resistance right here price leaves it comes back up taps it right here this is now unfresh but guess what the next candle comes back breaks it by disrespecting it now this becomes a level of support which price can then use to go higher from so 
Awesome. Resistance taps it, unfresher. The next candle comes up, breaks above it. We can now use it as support to go higher. Okay, all good. All right, so one more example here. Support, price leaves it, comes way down, taps it right here, and then we go. So that's the concept of fresh and unfresh. Okay, meaning this is not fresh, this is not fresh, this is not fresh, this is not fresh, this breaks become support. So we should come back down to use it as support. So once price interacts with it and respects it, it is no longer fresh. Okay, so moving on. So once again, a recap. Once the nature or characteristics of a level changes, it becomes fresh. Support becomes resistance. It is now fresh to trade from as a resistance. Support breaks resistance fresh. Okay, so that's just a general idea, right? I gave a, I gave many examples because once you understand this concept, you really really grasp quite frankly the entirety of around I say sixty percent of my strategy, which is quite simple. Okay, same thing. Support tap tier. Tap tier. So for this entirety, it wasn't fresh as, as a support, but this candle came down, it breaks it, closes beneath. Now we have a fresh resistance to trade from once price comes up to it. Okay. So same thing, open close, support, tapped it right here. So yet the orange line is when we have an unfresh level. So this entire period is not valid to trade from this level as a, as a support. But once we break it right here, we can come back up to trade down from it. It's that simple. So this saves you the kind of, this saves you what to think of level, if it's valid or not, this solves everything. Is it valid? Well, is it fresh or not? If it's fresh, then yeah, if, uh, it, it, it's valid. If it's unfresh, we have tapped it in, uh, in the past, then it's no longer fresh in your country from it. Because if you don't have this filter, right, every single level right here, every single level, it would be valid areas to trade from and it gets a bit too much. So this filter was, was introduced to limit that. Now, it's not to say that every single time a fresh level forms, it will work. And sometimes price will also come back to retest a level and, and go off. Those things happen. They, they happen a lot. Okay. But we, we are not here to try and catch every single move. We're here trying to catch the moves that work with our strategy. Right. And this filter was introduced to kind of limit the areas to, to trade from only choose the fresh levels, the high probability levels. Okay. So that is the first two parts. I've shown you how I clearly define my levels. I've shown you what my filters are for my levels to trade from. Next, we go into our final part of tonight's webinar, which is a simple and mechanical entry and exit strategy. Okay, so simple and mechanical is very important because I want to be able to, to teach it in a few minutes. All right. So we are now going to look into a mechanical entry and exit strategy with little description. Okay. So first off, you only trade off of fresh daily levels. If you are a day trader, if you are a swing trader, only trade off of daily, uh, fresh weekly levels. Only look for buys at support and only sells at resistance. Okay, so fresh daily levels, buy support, sell resistance. Okay, easy. So here we have the daily time frame. Okay, price comes up, it comes down. This is a fresh level. 
Okay, so wait for a fresh level to form. Next, we are going to drop down time frames. Okay, from the daily, we will drop down to the one hour time frame. The new day starts right here with this line I've drawn, and we are going to see the reaction when price comes back to it. Wait for price to come back to it on a lower time frame. Okay, that red line here is that previous area of resistance. Let me just go back. Let me go back real quick. So this line on the daily time frame is this line on a one hour time frame. Okay, all good. Okay. The next thing is to look for a lower time frame breakout on the one hour right here so price comes up comes down this is the last traditional support before we touch that daily resistance i want price to break this area to have a breakout okay so i'll repeat once again daily resistance on the one hour, price comes up, comes down. It forms the traditional support. Price breaks it with a body closure on the one hour. We have a bearish breakout, okay, from this daily resistance. So that looks like on a one hour chart is daily resistance, red line, price comes up. It taps it here. Where is the last traditional support before price tapped the fresh daily level on the one hour chart? Right here. This is the last level that brought us higher. Okay. So what I want to do next is I want to wait for something like this, a breakout. So support breaks, becomes resistance. This gets broken out of tapped it here and, and then we break so it kind of looks like this okay so daily to one hour weekly to four hours stuff like that so the mechanical entry strategy is this it will be at the newly formed one hour support break resistance or resistance breaks become support in this example it is the support breaks becomes resistance your stop loss will be at the daily average true range or the average daily range. And your take profit will be at least a one to two risk to reward ratio. Meaning if you risk 10 points, you should be making 20 points. Okay. So wait for this from this, and then you have your entries and then and exits mechanically set for you. Okay. So once again, resistance, Price taps it, breakout. Now you have entries. your entry. You, you, you can either enter at the area or you can just enter straight at the closing price right here. Your ATR is around 200 points. You can move it down to around 20 points is what I like to do because I prefer to do an intraday scalp. But if you prefer to swing trade, you can use the full 200 points. Okay, I just divide it by 10 for every asset class that I trade. So if it's 50 points, I use five. If it's 60 points, I use six. And that's just what I do, okay? So this is on gold. By the way, if you're wondering, this is from gold, uh, gold futures. So you have your entries, your stop loss, your take profit, one to two. And then you, uh, once you and there you can see price tank trade out before even coming back up. You could also enter at the support breaks becomes resistance, but it doesn't come back up to test it every single time. But if it does, then I think you will get a better and safer stop loss. So it depends on your, on your own testing, but this is as mechanical and as stress-free as I can make an entry strategy. Now you could use this on the 15 minute, 
the five minute, the one hour, the four hour, whatever type of trader that you are, you could use this. Be it swing, position, day trading. Um, I don't think I, I would recommend it to be a scalping method, but you could use this on whatever time frame that you deem fit for your own um, trading time frame, basically. All right, but all of daily areas and above. So daily, weekly, monthly, they're all valid, but at least daily, okay? All right, so here we have gone to the end of our webinar. I've shown you how to draw them. I've shown you what to filter them. I've, I've shown you a simple entry and exit strategy all in one webinar, okay? So let me move on to the secret. So there are actually benefits of becoming a client with my branch um, because you get two things. The first one is this smart money protocol, which is around 250 pages. It, I, it's an ebook and you can learn a complete technical analysis strategy from A to Z or from this uh, ebook. So it has around 250 pages and I wrote everything here. Okay. Now the concept, I, I didn't author them, but I took what I learned and I put them all into one PDF. So it covers everything from fundamentals to advanced concepts and schematics right here. And you can get this all for free as long as you open a account with us, which is also free of charge. And you can do it online completely at your own convenience and at, at your own time and location, okay? So that's the first thing that you're gonna get. The second is you are going to get access to a technical analyst forecast group, which I, which I run at the moment, which is exclusive for my clients only. So I'm your on-the-go on the podcast analysis. And basically what you receive is before the palm oil market opens every single day at 10.30 a.m., I will be sending out technical analysis chart with breakdowns and reasonings behind why I draw those levels all before the market open opens to help you navigate pretty much the trading day. Okay, I also break down uh, and compile fundamental data, which is supply and demand data release, as well as a further in-depth explanation of the trading schematics being you um, being executed in real time. Okay, so that is the two things that I provide to my clients, and it's all for free. Okay, so if you are interested, you could open an account with us right now through this QR code, or if you have any other questions you would like me to cover, uh, you could reach out to me on um, WhatsApp or email me, it's totally fine. But this QR code right here is for you to scan and open an account with us, okay? All right, so do we have any other questions from the floor? We have come to our Q&A section where I'll open the floor for any questions um, you would like me to address or any questions regarding the products, services, um, the asset classes, stuff like that, you can ask me here, okay? So yeah, do you have any other questions from the presentation? You can open the question box and you can just type in the questions that you have on your mind right now. Okay, so I have a question here, which is, what is the hit rate of the strategy? Um, so actually, the hit rate of the strategy, I'd say for my own testing, is around 75%, but that is across like a two-year period. Um, but you won't be getting trades every single time, um, and you won't be getting into wins every single time. But this is just a part of my strategy. I actually have an upcoming webinar next month around the end of September, where I will bring you through the probably the second most important concept next to this, which is how which is how I use these levels to form a bias 
Okay, so a narrative, bullish or bearish, I have a webinar for that next month on, on September. Um, it hasn't been published yet, but do keep your calendars um, up for that. It will be around 20th of September, like around that date. Yeah, so I'll have a web, I'll, I'll, I will have a webinar for that as well next, um, you know, next month. Oh, I have one more. Uh, do you have any indicators? Um, now, personally, I don't use indicators. Um, I only use the ATR, but that's because I use it for my stop loss placements. So I, I don't use um, any indicators. And that's because I just, um, I personally just, when I got into trading, I just never really used, you know, um, indicators. So it never really became a habit for me, if that makes sense. For existing clients, how do you get this ebook? Um, that one, um, you could reach out to your branch or your remiser and they could contact me. Uh, but at the moment, I do want to leave this ebook. I do want to leave this ebook for just my clients because I want them to use this ebook and then they get access to me as, a, as the person to ask questions because just the ebook in itself is pretty much useless. You need access to me to answer your questions for you because there are going to be a lot of questions that you will face in trading. So you use the ebook, you use the forecast group side by side, and then you also get access to me to draw your own charts and to ask me any questions. Okay. Uh, the ebook is not for sale. It's only for people that open an account with me. So that's pretty much it. Only for my own clients. Yeah, it's not for sale. Oh uh, yeah, the slides. Um, you can drop me an email after this, and I will get you the slides tomorrow after the event. But if you are an existing client, uh, you can definitely reach out to your branch, or your remiser, or your dealer, um, and you can ask them to contact me. Yeah, but as of now, um, it's pretty much just my clients for now. How long have you been trading? I've been trading for around five years now. Yeah, close to five years. Do you have any other final questions before I come to the end of my session? Okay, so since there are no more questions, let me just wrap it up. So once again, free account opening process, completely free of charge with this QR code, or if you have any, any other questions, you can reach out to me via email or WhatsApp or, um, or you know, just call in during office hours, all right? So you, you, uh, you can contact me right here. We have our social media pages. We have Facebook, YouTube, Telegram, and LinkedIn under the banner of Flip Capital Center and Berhad. We are also on Instagram, as well as our website is flip.com.my. But if you want to reach out to me, or any of my branch colleagues, you could do so through this phone number. It's 082-247-633-926, Monday to Friday. You could also drop me an email at pckc at flipcapital.com.my. And if you are in Kuching, or if you are nearby, if you want, like, want to drop by, you could drop by. This is the branch address right here. I am there from nine to six, Monday to Friday. Okay. Oh, yep. Here it is. So, um, without any other questions, thank you for coming. I appreciate your time and your attention, and I hope you guys have a successful trading year and trading career. Okay. Manage your risk and stay safe. Bye-bye. See you in the next one, which is on the end of September. All right, let's catch you guys soon.